Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam! At the top of the stage, the number one contender for Luigi Calzone and the SWF World Championship, the Predator, Killer Wasp! Tonight, Killer Wasp gets his championship opportunity as he's going to be taking on the Undisputed Ace, Luigi Calzone, and of course, the SWF World Championship is on the line! A title defense tonight rests on the shoulders of the man walking down the aisle with the SWF World Championship around his waist. The undisputed ace, Luigi Calzone, is in for the fight of his life against a very dangerous foe. This is the first time they've ever faced one-on-one. -on -one. This is a great opportunity for both men to show that they are the best. Referee Ed Trout rings the bell. This match is going to be no countouts, no disqualifications, pinfall submission, critical knockout. Those are the three ways you can win tonight's match. The SWF World Championship is on the line. Luigi Calzone. I don't think he's ever faced an opponent quite like the, the Killer Wasp. The Killer Wasp is still new to the SWF, but he recently won a, a number one contenders match to prove that he's the best. He defeated Ed Trout with a submission hold. I believe it was a Dragon Sleeper. It's a Dragon Sleeper or a Sleeper Hold or some kind of submission. But I know for sure he tapped out Ed Trout in the Fatal 4-Way number one contendership match. And now the Killer Wasp is the number one contender for the SWF World Championship. He's living the dream of every person in the locker room, of every fan that wants to grow up to be a professional wrestler. He's living their dream. The pressure is on. Can the Killer Wasp defeat Luigi Calzone? Or will the reign of the Undisputed Ace live on? Try to take him down. Sidestepped. Going for the pin. Not enough to get a one count. The referee was too far away. And not enough damage has been dealt to Luigi Calzone to lose from a pinfall this early in the match. Back and forth. European uppercut. Kick to the stomach. European uppercut. Kick to the stomach. Down goes Calzone. Following. Down goes the Killer Wasp. Knee to the face there. That rocked Calzone's world. Drop kick there. By the Japanese superstar, the Killer Wasp. Oh. Calzone tries to go for a drop kick, but misses. Gets him with the double leg takedown. He has him in the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter applied. The Killer Wasp was to the ropes, though, was able to escape the submission and nullify any potential chance of a victory by submission. Luigi Calzone once again misses a drop kick but follows up with the leg sweep and connects with precision there. Spinning him around like a record player. Round and round he goes where he lands. Nobody knows. While Luigi Calzone has never faced someone quite like the Killer Wasp. I don't think the Killer Wasp has ever faced anyone quite like Luigi Calzone. I think they're at a level playing field here. They both have skill. They both have the it factor. They both have what it takes to be SWF World Champion. But will tonight be Killer Wasp's night? Is it too early in his career to be the champion? Will he shock the world and win the title? There we go. That, that I believe is how he defeated Ed Trout. The man refereeing the match right now, ironically... That is exactly who the Killer Wasp defeated to become the number one contender to be in the match right now facing Luigi Calzone for the SWF World Championship. I believe it was that Dragon Sleeper that he used to submit Ed Trout. Ed Trout seems to not hold it personally as he's been calling this match right down the middle fair and square. Not going for any slow counts, not going for any fast counts, just standing back watching to make sure these competitors don't kill each other and make sure that we have a definitive winner when the, when the match is over. Oh, strong chop against the chest there with the forearm smash to follow and another forearm smash in the chest. Oh, look at both men going at it. Wait a second. Oh, a knee to the head of Luigi Calzone. Oh, wait a second. That, that's Dragonfly. What is Dragonfly doing out here? She's not in this match. She's not involved in this match. Why is she? 
Wait a second. Dragonfly working with Luigi Calzone. Double power bomb. Dragonfly is helping him. Dragonfly helping Luigi Calzone. Yeah. But for what reason? Why? Is this because she wants to help Luigi Calzone or does she just hate to kill her wasp? I don't know. But this is very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Dragonfly was a part of that fatal four-way number one contendership with the Killer Wasp. Perhaps she's upset that she lost. Perhaps she's angry that Killer Wasp is the number one contender and not her. I have no idea, but this is very interesting. I'm excited to see what happens next. I can't imagine Luigi Calzone is very pleased about having interference in his match. He wants to prove that he is single-handedly the best. He doesn't want any excuses. He doesn't want anybody to say that he only won due to interference or he won because of this or that. But with the no disqualification ruling, referee Ed Trout can't disqualify Luigi Calzone for the interference. It's perfectly legal. And if someone were to come down in the next minute or two and come defend the Killer Wasp, that would be perfectly okay by tonight's ruling for this championship match. That was very intriguing. That Dragonfly would come to the aid of Luigi Calzone and help fight off the Killer Wasp. Nice kick to the head there. Oh, nice European uppercut bouncing off the ropes by the Killer Wasp. But he eats a European uppercut by Luigi Calzone. Working on the right leg with that dragon screw on the ground. Bouncing off the ropes and European uppercut. It's like it's a one-upsmanship between these two competitors. The Killer Wasp, Luigi Calzone, trying to one-up each other, trying to prove their dominance, trying to prove that they deserve to be at the top of the mountain, waving the SWF flag. Oh, no! Thrill of the kill! Thrill of the kill! The new name for his submission finisher. He used to call it Thrill of the Sting, but he calls it the Thrill of the Kill now. Has a better ring to it. It's also a lot more dangerous sounding. Luigi Calzone escapes the thrill of the kill, but now he's in a dangerous predicament with that submission hold. He escapes, but just barely, only to eat a drop kick after bouncing off of the ropes. Killer Wasp. Oh, the European uppercut to Luigi Calzone. Interesting enough, both competitors wearing black and yellow. I don't know if that was coincidental or if it was on purpose. Perhaps Luigi Calzone is mocking his opponent. Perhaps it's a way of showing respect. I'm not sure. There may be no reason at all. But I can't help but notice it, folks. Oh no, the thrill of the kill! Thrill of the kill, Luigi Calzone! In a dangerous trap of the Killer Wasp! But he doesn't kick out. He knees him in the stomach. Gets out of the clutches. That's twice the thrill of the kill has been connected and locked on Luigi Calzone. But Calzone escapes both times. I think a Luigi bomb is exactly what Luigi Calzone needs right now. But wait a second. Calzone throws him to the outside. Now stands in the middle of the ring. Killer Wasp wasting no time to get back into the ring. Folks, we want to remind you that the SWF World Championship is on the line. The number one contender, the Killer Wasp. The, the reigning, defending, and current champion, Luigi Calzone. Now swings the number one contender in circles. Referee Ed Trout asking the Killer Wasp if he gives up. He does not. Despite being spun around. Wait, he goes for the pin here. Two. Oh, 2.9. He was so close to becoming the new SWF World Champion. He would have been the third in history. But right now, he's the recipient of a stalling suplex. The blood rushes to his head. He's going to be dizzy. He's going to be woozy. He's getting drop kicked hard. Calzone with that devastating kick to the... To the abdominal area. Oh no. Taken down. The sharpshooter being applied. The killer wasp is in dangerous territory. Can he make it to the ropes? No he doesn't but he manages to kick out anyway. Drop kick to the knee. Wait a second. Shining wizard. The shining wizard connects. Moots on pinfall. One. Two and. Oh 2.9. That's twice Luigi Calzone has come close to losing by pinfall. Wait a second. Oh, what a suplex there. Beginning to come off more aggressive. Luigi Calzone may realize he's in more trouble than he may have previously believed he was in. 
swinging around the killer wasp. How many times has the killer wasp been spun around and refused to give up? This man has so much resiliency. Wait a second here. Wait a second. Could be tied. Luigi Bob. One, two, three. Luigi Calzone hits the Luigi Bob and successfully retains the SWF World Championship. The era of the undisputed ace lives on. Luigi Calzone is still the SWF World Champion.